Now, our regular concert goers know that the band usually launches directly into the encore because this is a gay band and we don't need anybody to tell us that we're fabulous and, wanna, and want us to have us back. <laughs> but today we wanted to mention an important historical note. Now, American songwriter, author, and educator Catherine Lee Bates was born in Massachusetts in 1863. She graduated from Wellesley College, eventually returned there as a professor of English. Any Wellesley ladies in the audience? No, you're just yelling for the Wellesley ladies. Uh, I get it. She was, she was a prolific writer of poetry, travel books, articles, and children's books. She lived in Wellesley with Catherine Coleman, also a professor and founder of the college's School of Economics. Now, the term Boston marriage described this coupling of professional women at the time. However, Bates left a legacy of letters and poems describing the depth of the love that the two women shared. Why am I talking about Catherine Lee Bates? Well, I'm a lesbian, she's a lesbian, so I'm gonna talk about lesbians. But, also, she spent the summer of 1893 teaching in Colorado Springs and took a fateful excursion to the 14,000 foot summit of Pikes Peak. She wrote, I was very tired, but when I saw the view, I felt great joy. All the wonder of America seemed displayed there with the sea-like expanse. The marvel of that experience inspired the poem, America the Beautiful. Her beautiful words about the grandeur of our country and the hope for a better future for humankind to become one of our country's best loved patriotic songs. A lesbian wrote America the Beautiful. I'll be damned. Of course, I probably shouldn't say I'll be damned in the house of the Lord. I'm sorry, God. Okay. Well, the band has a marvelous arrangement of the music tonight to close our program. We also invite you to read along with Catherine Bates' words, which you can find on page 696 in the red hymnals in your pew. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, <laughs> I want you to turn to page 696. Uh, of course, this whole night being here, I wanted to do that. <laughs> can I get an amen? All right, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Now, in 1910, when a colleague described free flying spencers as the fringe of the garment life, Bates answered, I always thought the fringe had it the best of it. I don't think I mind not being woven in it. Enjoy our encore presentation of America the Beautiful. <laughs> 